The Harry Kit for Modo is a collection of channel modifiers and aliases and one assembly designed to help you work with arrays. To install Harry, first download the zip file from Gumroad and unpack it. You should find a PDF and a folder sh underscore Harry. Next, open Modo and select system slash open content folder, which will bring up a file browser. Open the kits folder and copy the sh underscore Harry folder into it. Close and restart Modo. There will be new folders in your add menus called Steve H slash array. There is one entry for channel modifiers and one for aliases and assemblies. Now let's look in excruciating detail at all the exciting new stuff. First up, array print. This modifier converts an array into a readable string. Use a comment node to conveniently see the values. Array print understands scalars of many different types. Floats, integers, distances, angles, percentages, masses, luminosities, forces, accelerations, axes, focal lengths, booleans, and strings. It also knows about vectors, matrices, and quaternions. The icing on top of the cake is that it can print arbitrarily nested arrays as well. Next, let's look at Array Flatten and Array Unflatten. Array Flatten removes a level of arrayness from an array. It also produces a list of lengths of the flattened subarrays, which can be used in tandem with Array Unflatten to undo the work of flatten. Not very useful on its own, but if you can do something to the data in between, this can be extremely useful. In this example, we have captured the positions of particles over several frames as an array of arrays of vectors. To iterate over the positions, we first flatten the array, then use an array operator to add one to the x coordinates, and finally we use the sizes array from flatten and the array unflatten modifier to rebuild our array of arrays. Array find indices searches an array for certain values and then reports back the index positions corresponding to those values. You could use this, for example, to create a kind of associative array. Array product forms the Cartesian product between two like-typed arrays. In the example, we have two arrays of strings and the product creates every combination of pairs, taking the first element from the first array and the second element from the second array. Array unordered pairs is similar, but takes a single array as its input. It creates an array of pairs by pairing each element of the input array with each other element. For example, if you give it a list of points, you will get all the possible connections between those points, which can then be used by the create polygons mesh op to build lines between those points. Array splice allows you to insert an array into another array at an arbitrary position. The arrays have to be of the same type. Array number string lets you specify a numeric array as a string. It converts the string into an array of floats or optionally integers. Array repeat repeats an array a number of times. That's it. Array reverse flips the array so that the first is last and the last is first, and everything in between. Array slice lets you extract a range of elements from an array. The resulting slice begins at the start position and includes all elements up to, but not including, the stop position. The optional step specifies how many elements to skip at each stage. Array Permute creates a new array from an existing one by extracting the elements specified in another array of indices. Array Interleave takes two arrays and shuffles them together, taking an element from each of the source arrays in turn. Finally, Array Zip is an assembly that lets you zip together two arrays using an arbitrary binary operation. 
For completeness, I should also mention the string equal modifier that compares two strings for equality. So that's Harry in a nutshell. Arrays are a powerful feature in Modo that are somewhat underused. I think this is at least in part because you cannot easily see what's going on. The array print modifier solves that problem. Array flatten and array unflatten make it possible to iterate over nested arrays, which I have been wanting to do for ages. The other modifiers should give you the tools with which to feel comfortable manipulating arrays in Modo. So, that's Harry. I hope you like him, and I hope you buy him. <laughs>